welcome students we are here to discuss the ncert solutions for class 6 that is electricity and circuits coming to question number 1 that is fill in the blanks a a device that is used to break an electric circuit is called so it is the switch b an electric cell has dash terminals an electric cell has two terminals the positive and the negative next question mark true or false for the following statements a electric current can flow through metals it is true b instead of metal wires a jute string can be used to make a circuit this is a false statement a jute wire cannot be used or a jute string cannot be used c electric current can pass through a sheet of thermocol this is also a false statement a thermocol sheet is a insulator coming to question number 3 explain why the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in the figure now the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in the figure because one end of the tester or screw driver is made up of plastic so this end is made up of plastic now this plastic is a insulator and it does not allow electric current to go through it so the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in the figure because the one end of the tester because the one end of the tester or screw driver is made up of plastic which does not allow
इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट टू फ्लो थ्रू इट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन complete the drawing shown in figure 12.9 to indicate whether the free ends of the two wires should be joined to make the bulb glow yes the two ends of the bulb they should be joined to make the bulb glow fifth question what is the purpose of using an electric switch name some electrical gadgets that have switches built into them so electric switch is used to make the circuit open or closed for a particular appliance and hence with the help of a switch we can use the appliance accordingly so electric switch is used to make electric circuit open or closed for a particular appliance and hence with the help of a switch we can use an appliance accordingly appliances which have electrical gadgets that have switches built into them are mixer grinder washing machines electrical switches etc question number 6 let see the figure would the bulb glow after completing the circuit shown in figure 12.9 if instead of safety pin we use an eraser so if in place of the safety pin we are using eraser it would not glow because eraser is an, is an insulator whereas safety pin is a conductor
since eraser is an insulator, so it does not allow the current to pass. Hence, the bulb will not glow. Question number seven, would the bulb glow in the circuit shown? So yes, the electric circuit is closed. So the bulb will glow. Coming to question number eight, using the conduction tester on an object, it was found that the bulb begins to glow. Is that object a conductor or an insulator? Explain. Yes. If the object is good conductor of electricity, then the current will pass through the conduction tester and the bulb will glow. Hence, the object will be a conductor of electricity. If the object is good conductor, of electricity, then current will pass through conduction tester. And the bulb will glow Hence, the object will be a conductor of electricity. Now, coming to ninth question. Why should an electrician use rubber gloves while repairing an electrical switch at your home? Explain. Now, answer is, our body is a good conductor of electricity and rubber is a insulator. During repairing work, if 
body comes in contact with the current carrying wire then there will be not any accident as rubber gloves or rubber does not allow the passage of the current through it hence electrician uses rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch our body is good conductor of electricity and rubber is insulator during repairing work if the body comes in contact with current carrying wire then there will not be any accident as a rubber does not allow passage of current through it hence electrician uses rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch question number 10 the handles of the tools like screw drivers and pliers used by electricians for repair work usually have plastic or rubber covers on them can you explain why so plastic or rubber is an insulator which does not allow electric current to pass through it the handles of the tools like screw drivers and pliers used by electricians for repairs have coverings of plastic or rubber so that electric current may not pass through these tools to the body of the electrician to harm him plastic or rubber is an insulator which does not allow electric current to pass through it the handles of the tools like screw drivers
and pliers. Used by electricians. For repair, have covering of plastic. Or rubber so that electric current so that electric current may not pass through These tools to the body of the electrician to harm him. <laughs> 